All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. So here I am in Louisville, Kentucky, right in the middle of the city at Cave Hill Cemetery. This is just such a beautiful cemetery. It's huge. It's, kind of, it's like, it's, it reminds me of Central Park in New York City. It's just like this big you know, oasis in the middle of the city. And um, I've been here two, three times. I my third time here. A lot of famous people are buried here. And I actually came here before and I filmed a video about Muhammad Ali. And... It began raining really heavily during the video, and I felt uh, rushed because of the rain. Not that I'm afraid to get wet, it's no big problem, but the camera was getting wet. So, kind of add a little bit to the video, but then I was like, well, I'm driving through again at some point. I want to redo it, and I want to take some, just show you Muhammad Ali's grave, like, with the sun and the greenery around. It's an it's a amazing location. It's right here. Um, you know Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay. I mean, Olympic gold medalist, three-time world heavyweight champion boxer, humanitarian, civil rights activist, the greatest of all time, the people's champion, Muhammad Ali. I'm a huge fan of boxing. Uh, I don't watch boxing now, and I'm not. I don't. I think I'm not current on boxing. I just love. I love boxing movies and I love boxing history. Always have, and. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, I just like, kind of like been always my life been obsessed with the two of them, and uh, Muhammad Ali definitely the greatest of all time. I think when I think about athletes who dominate and athletes who are the greatest in the field, I talked about this on my Michael Jordan video. Uh, you know who's the? Oh, here we go. There's a tractor coming through. Uh, yeah. Nice guy. Uh, I talk about. Who's the greatest of all time in terms of sports? Muhammad Ali's number one. We're up there. I mean, as a, as a hockey lover, Canadian, I'm gonna say Wayne Gretzky. But I mean, you got Muhammad Ali, you got Wayne Gretzky, Hank Aaron, uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron, Sidney Crosby. I don't know. There's lots. Uh, but Muhammad Ali transcended sports. He became a bigger than life figure. And outspoken, brash, Muhammad Ali.
and it's hard to even put into words how how impressive this uh, plot is. Kind of give sit back and give you a wide shot. That's all devoted to Ali right there. And we'll go up a little bit. And he's right here. And I'll read you what it says. Muhammad Ali, January 17th, 1942, uh, born here in Louisville, June 3rd, 2016. And of course, after a long battle with um, Parkinson's, he had respiratory uh, illness and claimed his life. June 3rd, 2016. He took a few cups of love. He took one tablespoon of patience, one teaspoon of generosity, one pint of kindness. He took one quart of laughter, one pinch of concern, and then he mixed willingness with happiness. He had a loss of faith, and he stirred it up well. Then he spread it over a span of a lifetime, and he served to each and every person he met. Wow. And if you look here, people have left lots of coins and things in there. And one thing I didn't notice last time, but I'm going to let you guys notice if you want to come here, Section U. And it's, uh, it's, it's a huge cemetery. It is difficult to find uh, Muhammad Ali if you're not looking at a map and paying attention or you not don't use uh, like your GPS, the pin that you can find right to his grave. That's what I did. I just kind of thought, oh, I'll find Muhammad again. And, uh, yes, I was driving around circles. But when you get to it, and it's not, it's not hard to find. Just follow directions. Um, make sure you read the signs. Please keep off grass. Please keep off grass. They're all around here. Because last time I did not notice that, and I walked up. And I, w I walked up and around. And I noticed signs afterwards. And, of course, I stopped walking the grass. I really didn't notice them. Those small little ones right there. There. And then, of course, the big yellow ones keep on flowers. That makes sense. So, yeah, we're going to go up around this way to see what that says. And but we're going to walk all the way around. Okay, let's go. So, you just come right around the bend. Like I said, he's got a huge, huge plot here, Muhammad Ali. I mean, an icon. This is one of the, the most famous men of all time. Ali, something in there making lots of noise. Um, I believe it says service to others is rent you pay for when you get to heaven. Something to that effect. I'll read it when we go back down. But this is the backside. Looking down where Ali is buried, right there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm the greatest thing that ever lived. I don't have a mark on my face. And I upset son and listen. And I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. I told the world I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me, Sonny. I shook up the world. I know God. I know the real God. Cassius, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Cassius. I know that this is rapidly becoming one of the uh, most visited grave sites in the world. Uh, so that makes sense for those. Please keep off the grass because the, um, it would just be worn down, you know. And uh, it's kind of self-maintained. Like the, the cemetery maintains, it, of course, but it's not like. Um, Elvis's grave where there's people here all the time like looking after people who work here so that's why they would have to keep off the grass so it doesn't get all worn down I mean, letting you know and there's quite a few signs um, but yeah I was just saying about um, oh and there's people there's two people here just when I got here and they just left so kind of a steady stream and there's a map to the cemetery and he's the first one listed a lot of famous people are in here I have visited some of them and some of them are coming up on the channel well, we're gonna take a look at that interesting grave over there in a moment when I'm done here paying our respects to Muhammad Ali service to others is the rent you pay for your room in heaven I don't like fighters who talk too much I told you I'm too slick for them tricks no special training just be at the fight i'm ready to back up everything i'm saying and i'm through talking is this this poem tells hadfield to be as great as me <laughs> this
This is it. The greatest short poem of all time. Me, we. I attract people in a way that no other athlete has ever done. Why do you fight people who are quite obviously not in your class? Uh, for like, for example, who? Well, you, uh, let me uh, put an even better question to you. Um, <laughs> do you mean... Does he even get off of that? No, 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 no. I mean, oh, well, let me put, let me put it another way. Uh, uh. Muhammad Ali, the thriller in Manila. Rumble in the jungle. It's George Foreman. We're just going to take a walk down here, I think. This grave is, gets a lot of attention, and I can see why. Wow. Looks to be the Hall family. Yeah, it's a plot put aside for the Hall family. Oh, that's very sad. Michael and John, their father and son, died just a year apart. Son died in 2012, then father died in 2013. Wow. You can see this whole, all the other, all the other plots seem to be empty and no other Hall family here yet, but it's pelicans. Take a walk back around. Rest in peace to both members of the Hall family that are there. It's a really beautiful grave. That's just three or four uh, graves over from the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. We got some nice benches. You can come sit, reflect, think, and there he is. Such a larger-than-life figure. It's a, I mean, think. I mean, think of the fam famous people in the world. You know, that have been world famous. Everybody would know. Like a, a, up until a certain generation, I'm assuming. But I mean, Princess Diana, Elvis Presley, Muhammad Ali, icons, and, and ones that everybody, everybody knows a little something. Everybody knows that Muhammad Ali. Cassius Clay, not only one of the greatest boxers of all time, or the greatest boxer of all time, but one of the greatest sportsmen of all time, one of the greatest humanitarians of all time. All right, so that's my visit to Muhammad Ali. Uh, my second visit, and probably won't be the last. I mean, it's beautiful, it's Muhammad Ali, it's Kentucky. Look at it, I mean, it really doesn't get more beautiful than Kentucky. All right, to Muhammad Ali. Rest in peace, man. Peace out.